body now we have a bunch of ore but what are we how are we gonna deal with all this ore like that that's a lot of stuff and i kind of don't want to just smelt it all down that would feel like a waste don't you think maybe there's some way for us to you know take care of all of this stuff without having to make a billion machines i just don't think we have the power for stuff like that right now i mean i guess we could but what if, what if there was another way i don't know maybe we'll figure it out i'll just keep looking and seeing what we can do for now what what was that uh body 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 there are more important matters than the wall right now what is this What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. Today, we're going to be playing with demons. I'm actually really excited about this because I've only done this once, and it was during my All the Mod 7 speedrun that, you know, we crushed. But I'm really excited about this today, and uh, I'm sure Body's excited to play with some demons. Right, buddy? I mean, you technically are a demon if you think about it. Okay, baby, that was a little harsh. I'm sorry, buddy. Guys, thank you so much for the 2,500 subscribers. I literally just feel like I just talked about getting 2,000 subs, and now we're at 2,500. Like, what? Like, this is insane, the amount of support this channel is getting, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And if you aren't sub and you want to keep up with me, make sure you hit that sub button. Look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know as somebody who does YouTube, gets on YouTube, I'm a viewer myself it's very easy to forget to hit that subscribe button so let me put this out here if you've watched more than one of my videos and you actually enjoyed it hit that sub button okay trust me it takes like less than three seconds and it's super easy to do and at the end of the day it makes body happier <laughs> okay maybe maybe i should shout out body like that. but if you like me maybe you maybe you sub anyway <laughs> All right, let's get started before I start selling body out more. So we got the Dictionary of Spirits. Isn't that right, buddy? You know all about these spirits. I know you do, okay? It's where you came from, all right? Anyway, so oh my god. Oh my god, I have yet to see this. This is... Hello? What? What? If you're wondering why we need to talk to some demons, well, we have way too much raw ore. Like way too much raw ore and it would be wrong for us to just continuously smelt this right like then we'd have to run everything over and over and over and infinitely and we really don't have that much uranium do you know what if we call upon some spirits slash demons we can get six times the amount of ingots out of a single piece of raw ore so we need to talk to some demons so i already had demon fruit i guess it unlocks as you click the oh it unlocks as you click them okay this is kind of cool Okay, let's go back here. This book aims to introduce the novice reader to the most common summoning rituals and equip them with a list of spirit names to summon. Okay, the authors advise caution in the summoning of the listed entities and does not take responsibility for any harm caused. I got body. I'm not worried about it, right? Body? Buddy, what are you doing back there? Come on, you can help me with some demons. Come on, don't be a wuss. If you run into any trouble while playing occultism, please join our Discord server and ask for help. All right, that's pretty dope. I like that they made this like a quest book almost. This is kind of dope. I probably should read the first thing. Hidden from mere human eyes exists another plane of existence, another dimension, if you will, the other world. This world is populated with entities often referred to as demons. See, it's just demons. These demons possess a wide variety of powers and useful skills. Useful skills. Okay, we're just gonna enslave demons, that's cool. And for centuries, magicians have sought to summon them for their own gain. I guess I'm a magician. Does that make me a magician? The first step on the journey to successfully summoning such an entity is to learn how to interact with the other world. Okay, okay. Okay. Demon's dream is an herb that gives humans the third eye, allowing them to see where the other world intersects with our own. Seeds can be found by breaking grass. Consuming the grown fruit activates the ability. Okay. An additional side effect of Demon's dream is the ability to interact with other world materials. This is unique to Demon's dream. 
Other ways to obtain third eye do not yield this ability. While under the effect of Demon's Dream, you are able to harvest other stone as well as other world trees. Okay, so just so you guys know, I have actually done this before. I'm gonna do it the easy way, which is using Spirit Fire. You could do this by actually searching for things with the divination rod, which we are gonna end up making and everything. So if you haven't done this before, I fully suggest on doing this. I'm gonna show you guys how you would do this if you aren't going to use spirit fire to do things easily. And I can just, I can just show you guys how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab some demons dream seeds. And we're gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of bone meal because why not? Maybe that's a little bit too much bone meal. I'm just going to make myself a simple diamond hoe here, and we're going to use this to plant our demon seeds right here. So we're going to just grow this over and over until we get us a bunch of these demon fruits right here, the demon's dream fruit. We're just going to get a bunch of them. Is it me, or does bone milling actually give you, like, a beat? It definitely has a beat to it. Okay, we should have enough with a stack and some extra, but that should be good enough. And I'm just gonna leave this here. But let me show you what you do. First thing you wanna do is you want to set this on fire. So you grab some flint and steel. Uh, this is probably a terrible place to put it, but you know what? Screw it. You throw this down and you light it on fire and it makes you some spirit fire. And from here, you can throw some different things in here and uh, it doesn't last forever, just so you know. If you throw different things in here, like for example, if we throw diamond in here, we will get ourselves a spirit attuned gem and you're going to need a couple of these and I'm just going to go ahead and throw a bunch. But essentially, that's kind of how the mod starts out. Then what you would do is you would use this spirit attuned crystal to make yourself this divination rod. Well, it's a gem rather. The divination rod or di divi divination rod. I'm going to get like pastors like down in the south that'd be like divine knife. From. Anyway, and what this does is actually pretty cool. Inside of occultism, there's a couple of different, I guess you'd say, uh, materials that you can find in the world. And the only way to see them, and it kind of explains it in the book, is by having the third eye. But what this rod does, it actually links you up to the kind of material that you click on it with. So if I come over here and I hold right click, you see how it's saying the divination rod is not attuned to any material. If I shift right click, there's no resonance with this block. Okay. So what you do is you eat some demon's dream fruit and then we get this. And what you'll notice is that sometimes in the world, some of this stone will change. Now, when you're deep in the, the bottom down here, it's kind of harder to see things, but it goes away. It goes away really quickly. And that's why you just keep eating some more, right? Not totally not getting an addiction. What you want to do is you want to eat this and you want to find something called other stone. Other stone will just look just like stone, but it'll be a different color. Now, we'll say this is... A whole lot more annoying to do, in my opinion, to find this specific stone. Because I guess the biomes make it a whole lot harder because there's so many different kinds of biomes and everything. This also works on trees. Because there are other world saplings and there are other world trees. Usually you find them underneath things. But if you shift right click on a tree, it will say this rod is now attuned to the other world wood. So you can hold right click on the, the rod and it'll actually search for that wood. It'll search for other wood wherever it may be. So if there is a tree that is an other world sapling that you want to get, it usually highlights it. I wonder if my shaders are stopping it. So it does look like they changed it. You basically want to find andesite and that's how you get other stone. Andesite is how you find other stone. And I could be wrong and just forgot that it was andesite. The problem is looking for it takes forever. So we're just going to make it. So if you throw this down, set it on fire, you get yourself out some andesite here. We can just make it. So control Q will drop a stack and there we go. Other stone. Same thing with saplings. If you throw the saplings in there, you'll get yourself some oak saplings, but these are other world of saplings, which is pretty dope. So you will have to grow this sapling just like this but since it's an other world sapling you have to eat your fruit and it will be other world wood so we can break this down and that is how you get other world wood it's going to go ahead and plant some more but you got to make sure that you are under the effect of the third eye so that way you can actually get the wood otherwise you don't get it and with this wood we're going to set this back on fire and if we throw the wood in there we get other world ashes 
Now, pro tip, if you light the demon's fruit on top of the other, oh, if you light the demon's fruit on top of this, this will permanently burn. It will never go away, which is pretty good. It's pretty cool, but we don't need this right here. So we're gonna have to build a different place for it. Buddy, we're gonna have to make a little home for the demon. From here, we can actually follow the book and it wants us to make candles next. So candles provide stability to rituals and are the most important part of most pentacles, which is pretty true. We're gonna need a lot of candles. The only way to get candles is by getting this tallow or tal is, I'm pretty sure that's tallow. And the only way to get that is by making yourself a butcher knife. And with a butcher knife, you kill, I think it's like specifically, yeah, pigs, cows, or sheep, and it will give you the tallow. So. Let's go up here, grab this recipe, and bam, easy enough. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also need to make ourselves some burnt other stone, which is just taking some other stone, sticking it in a furnace, and outputting, there you go, some burnt other stone. We're gonna need that to make some uh, some of the things we're gonna need. Buddy, I'm, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go kill some stuff, okay? Before we do that, something cool you can actually do is you can actually reforge this over here if you wanted to, which is kind of funny. Go make me some gem dust real quick. And now let's see if we can reforge this. I don't have enough experience, so I'm just gonna go grab the experience out of this because I'm sure I have enough, right? Oh yeah, just about a, you know, about 1,049. Let's just grab all 1,049. Oh, you can hold shift and just store a bunch of levels. Oh my God. Okay, cool. Let's just, I think 539 should be enough. Let's see. Mobs will teleport to you. Mob drops will teleport to you. Is there one with luck? Slain enemies have a chance to be a loop in yada? I'll take that. So I don't want to go looking for some cows and stuff. Like that's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually make something special. Going to need some wheat real quick. And we're going to need some buckets of experience. And now I'm going to make something called this nutritious chicken feed which is pretty cool. Let me show you why. I forgot I built this. Now you wanna find yourself a chicken, just like we've always done. You know, this is nutritious, it should be good for them, right? I guess if you like it too much, it makes you explode. What this does is actually pretty cool. If I come over here and just right click the ground with it, God, that was loud. It will spawn a bunch of passive mobs, which I can get tallow from. It just spawns a bunch of different kinds of mobs, which is pretty cool. <gasps> Pig. And we're gonna go ahead and get a good bit of this tallow, but I kind of want to... Oh, that one's got a present on his back. Hold on, come here. What do you do when it's got a present on his back? Man, this one's fast. Come here, give me the present. I want the present. Come here. I don't think I can get this from him, can I? I don't think I have this stuff for it, but that's kind of cool. Oh, look, a pig. I kind of want to do this until I... Oh, those snails are going to be annoying. I wanted to see what the loot pinata looks like with this thing. Oh, that chicken just died. Hey, wait a second. That's not a passive mob. Okay, now the snake is really not passive. Did that crow just put... When did they start picking this stuff up? Oh, a cow. Oh, a butterfly. We got 12 talent, but you know, I'm kind of a little bit more. That's beautiful butterfly. Look at it. We're going to spawn some of the stuff here. The villagers just don't know what they're going to do with it. Are you good, bro? That man's just kind of spinning. Be a loop pinata. Oh. That's sad. Also, I forgot to mention, a couple of people mentioned this in my last video. This is the advanced wireless transmitter. It's actually a whole lot better from what I understand because it does 3000 blocks out. It is relatively easy to make. You will need one piece of netherite for it, which is pretty cool. This is kind of like something for the in-between between that and the infinity range upgrade because you will have to have the basic one for this to go in. So this one just takes some Enderium. So if you have the Netherite for it, if you have three pieces of Netherite and, a, and an Obtanium and some Enderium, you can go ahead and make you this and it'll work in the entire dimension. But for now, this works for me. I just got my range upgrades in here and it's 3000 blocks, so it works. And now we take a look in a book reading Rainbow. We've got this and it wants us to go with chalks or it wants us to do a book of binding. And uh, I'm not gonna follow this too much because I kind of got an idea of what I want to do. But we're gonna need a place body to, you know, work with so we need to figure out where to put the demons hmm i don't know why my mini map was turned off but all right demons like lava right there's plenty of lava around here and this is kind of under our house right here right this little area hello i guess we could probably transform something like this into a demon's place first off we gotta flatten this place out what about right here light it up and uh we're gonna need a deck right here Okay, I think this 
this looks good enough for a demon to come and hang out with us, right? I think it looks kind of cool enough. We're definitely going to need some more lighting eventually, but I think this kind of looks cool, doesn't it? I'm going to have to change the outsides, but this is kind of good for the starting of summoning some demons. So if we're going to summon some demons, first off, we're going to need to make us some candles. Going to make, uh, you know, a, a good couple of these real quick from the tallow we got here. Boop, 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 boop. 12 sounds nice. Or 13, I can count, I promise. It also doesn't hurt to make us a couple of these spirit attuned crystals, which again, this is just super easy to make. And matter of fact, I'm just going to make me some more. And now we're going to make ourselves some chalk. We're going to need a couple of these. And this takes some burnt other stone and some of those other world ashes. So we're going to need a couple of different kinds of chalk. So while it only has one right here, I'm going to make about three pieces of white chalk. Mm, let's go ahead and make one more. Let's have four because you need the white ones to make the other colors. So like for this, if we wanted to make a red one, we're going to need some blaze powder and an afrit F essence. Is it afrit? 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 Okay. I don't know how to say that, but you know, that's pretty common around me part. You know, I don't know how to say a lot of things. And also go ahead and make yourself a chalk brush. Trust me, you're going to, you're going to want this. Gold chalk is pretty easy to get. You need some gold dust. Easiest way to get gold dust is to take an ore hammer and smash some ore dust. And there we go. We got gold dust right there. And like I said, it is going to take this white chalk and we're going to need that. That's cool. But then to get the other stuff. So like, for example, if we want crushed in stone, we actually have to get this from a crusher spirit. But we can work towards that a little bit later. The red one, we're also going to have to summon us a Afrit. An Afrit? We're going to summon the fire guy. Hopefully it won't be too bad. You know what? I kind of need body for this. All right, body, we're about to do a ritual. I know what you're thinking of the place. Yeah, I know. It's cool. Don't get yourself set on fire out here, please. But now I think about it, I think I actually have to do this, don't I? Oh, yeah, that's right. We need some sacrificial bowls. That's easy enough. You need some other stone for that. You're going to need probably like eight of these. Yeah, we're going to need some more. We just got to make us some more other stone. And then with at least one more, you're going to want to make a golden one, which apparently I have everything as gold blocks and golden sacrificial bowl. Cool. Now let's see what it wants out of this book. See what it's going to tell me. Can I go over here and just get the ritual? Oh, I can. Cool. So if you open up your inventory here, we want to type in Afrit right here. Body is literally on my face right now. And we're going to look for the summon unbound Afrit or I swear to God, I will one day know how to say this. When you hit R on this, you want to look and see what you need here. It'll say the Abra's Open Conjure. We need to sacrifice a cow and this will summon the Unbound Afrit. Okay, so this is important. So if I hit A on it, it'll say the recipe. But most importantly, if I go into my book here and I look for the pentacles, we're looking for the Abra's one. So right here. Once you click this, click multi-block preview, and then you can right click to place it down. And this is how you would have to draw this. Now we can't even summon this guy because we need that crushed in stone. So we're going to have to do a couple of things before we can do that. So if you're like me and you get ahead of yourself, you can right click and click this and it'll hide it. So the first demon we're going to have to summon here is this, the summon foliate crusher. So I'm going to hit A on here, get the recipe. And this one looks like it's just ABR circle. So open this up. And let's head back and find ABR circle, which is right here. And then we're going to do this one first. Now, your white chalk doesn't work by itself, just so you guys know. You're going to need to purify it. So I'm just going to go ahead and purify one of these by throwing this down. Set it on. Oh, oh. so I'm going uh, to throw this down. Set this on fire. And then throw in your chalk in there. And then that will give you white chalk by itself. So now you just right click on the ground to draw out the pentacle here right with the chalk and there's a reason why i chose the darker color as the the background for these so that like i can see what i need here and then we're going to need a sacrificial bowl here and we're going to need those white candles all around here and when you're done it'll have a little ding sound that's completed so if you look at this this has the golden sacrificial bowl in the middle but you see there's four different kinds of our four different sacrificial bowls all around it you can kind of place this wherever you want to. Doesn't really matter and it's not really directional. So as long as you just put it around it like this, this will work. And from here, we're going to need four different kinds of ore. We're going to need raw iron, raw gold, raw copper, and silver. And then we're just going to put them on the bowl. So right click and that'll stick it on the bowl. And the most important part is this, the book of binding. One, you'll need the book. You'll need the dictionary spirit, but you'll also need a book of binding here, which takes some white ink, book and quill and some purified ink. Purified ink is just fire with some black dye. Looks like I'm going to need to go get me an ink sack real quick. We'll go ahead and make that, you know, 
ink real quick. Take that black dye, drop that in there. Purified ink. You're going to need this. I promise. You're going to need uh, a couple of these because that's how you make the books. I'm going to go get a squid real quick, but you stay here or not. Surprise! All right. Now I should be able to make the book and quill. And I should be able to make this book of binding. And then when you have these two, you combine them with the book right here. So dictionary spirits plus this. And this gives us the summoning book that we need. And once we place this down, well, body, then we got a demon to deal with. Started summoning foliate or crusher. Foliate or bo body? Body? Don't start running on me now, bro. I kind of need you. Oh, oh, he took one of them. Oh, he took that one. He took that that piece. What was that, raw iron? Oh, forgot these noises are so loud. He's going to snatch the other two up. Oh, yeah, they kind of take forever. So if you got a, you know, oh. God, that's so loud, it scared me. If you got something like a time in the bottle, it'll make this a lot faster. I should have surrounded this place in lava. Body, bo body, body, do you not care that there's going to be a demon? All right, last but not least, it's one in the middle. Come on, take the book. Do it, take the book. That's the demon? Body just nodded his head yes. Okay, all right. So here we have our first demon. So we need to give this guy some end stone and he'll crush it for us. So all you got to do is just kind of throw it at him and he'll take it in his hands, which is kind of cool, right? Okay, you hear him crunching. That's not the souls he's eating. Where'd body, body left? He'll just crunch it on up, right? And then he'll eventually toss it onto the floor for us to pick up, which we can turn our magnet on and we'll get it. These guys are really slow in the beginning. You can also shift click them and uh, yeah, you can get some stuff out of their inventory right there. This also works for ore doubling. So let's say you wanted to give them some iron ore, right? Some raw iron here. If I shift click and I can actually take this out of their hand and then I can put this in here because I think two's okay for now. And he'll crunch on that. And for every one he crunches, he'll give us two pieces. So it'll double it, right? It's cool. You know what? Actually, go back to making this. Okay, hold on. You stay there. I'm going to use this crushed in stone to make myself that purple chalk that I need. I actually need some obsidian dust and um, I guess I can just get you to make that too, right? Here you go, sir. I'm going to need you to crush about four of them. Can you give me give me some more? Body's like, nice place. We need to really change the outside and make it look a little bit better because this, while this kind of looks cool for a demon, I feel like we need some like lava. We need some like, I'm going to really uh, like make this a whole lot better. I don't think this is enough. All right, now we're just waiting for this guy to give me some more body. Come on, don't be rude. You're just walking over him. You know, for a demon, this guy's like half your size. You know, he's not even that big. He's, I mean, he's like a fifth of your size. Actually, you're huge compared to him. It's because you're Canadian, isn't it? Man, I always swear I got to turn off this like overlay and stuff and the waystones overlay because this just gets in the way. All right, we got ourselves some two obsidian dust. We're just going to snack that from him. You know what? I guess it doesn't hurt for him to keep making us some more. So just keep working at it. And, uh, you know, don't mind me. I'm just going to go make this chalk real quick. All right, let's go ahead and purify the golden chalk and the purple chalk. And uh, now we kind of just need to clean the place up. This is what your chalk brush is for. I mean, we can make some more ritual places, but we're just going to kind of clean this place up a little bit. Act like we didn't totally just summon a demon that's just kind of chilling right there. Now, just so you guys know, these guys don't last forever. They don't, they don't stay there forever. They only last for a little bit. At least this one. This one only lasts for a tiny little bit. And he kind of just chills here and vibes, so... He's got that going for him. I'm going to let him crush this up and then uh, we'll send him on his way. Buddy, I just realized we're going to need a cow. All right, while this guy's working, we're going to go get a cow. Oh, it's nighttime. I hate the nighttime. We're just going to plop us down this. Go sleep. It's time for night night, buddy. Buddy, get up. Right, now we got to find a cow. Is that a bear? That's, that's body. There's a bear. How is a bear a passive mob? Okay, we'll go find a cow on our own. Yeah, that's actually some really cool generation right here. Look at this. It's like a little pond right here, and then it goes down. Yo, there's giraffes. I wonder if I can summon... Oh, there's a cow. I wonder if I can sacrifice a giraffe. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, this guy's kind of just... Uh, he kind of just vibing, okay? So we got ourselves a cow, and with our book here, we're going to go pull up that... What was it? Abra's Open Conjure. That's what we're going to do. We're going to, again, we're going to put this right here. We've already got one done, and this is where we needed that purple chalk, but it looks like we're also going to need some extra stuff. Let's get the purple chalk done. And now the white chalk. Buddy, you got to get out of the way. I can't summon a demon when you're in the way. Buddy, move. Come here. Come here, boy. 
Come on. Now for some candles. And it looks like we're gonna need two wither skeleton skulls and two skeleton skulls. Ooh, one here, one here. Thankfully, we have some skeleton skulls. One there and one there. And it's done. Now looking at this ritual, we're gonna need to make this book. And then it looks like we're gonna need some netherrack, gunpowder, nether quartz, and a flint and steel. So let's place our bowls down. Gonna need to move this guy out of the way with our sword. And let's place this in here. And let's see, what does it take to make this book? Oh, we need purple dye. Ooh, I gotta go get some red dye real quick, buddy. Oh, this works. There's just purple, these things right here. I have a feeling I'm gonna need some more of this. All right, I got eight purple dye. That should do it. Okay, now we should be able to make this. And then we make this, which by the way, grab your book back so it doesn't go into your system because that makes it easier. And then we take, put the book down and we take and put the cow down just like this. Oh, wait, that's not the cow. Hold on a second. Okay, we're gonna put the cow down and then we're gonna put the book down. Oh, it got rid of the chalk right there. Oh no, was right. The cow said no. Okay, so we're gonna put the purple chalk right there. Come here, cow, hold on. And then we're gonna put the book down. Oh, that's not the book. Oh man, I'm messing it all up. So gunpowder here, book. And then uh, we shove the cow a little bit closer and there we go. Takes a little bit, but I think this will work. Oh God, body, that sound is so loud. Body, can you come over here? All right, body, that's it. We gotta prep this together, okay, body? We're about to have to fight this guy. And I have fire on my, so I got fire on my sword. I got plus two fire damage and this is like the demon of fire. You'd think this wouldn't work. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Oh God, oh, I forgot he summons blazes too. Let's get these blazes first. Body, body, help me get these blazes. Body, what are you doing? Body, come on now, get them. Oh, we got our Afrid Essence though, that's cool. Well, now that we got that, uh, we can use this to make the red chalk now. Easy enough, we just need one piece of this. Let's go ahead and purify this. And uh, now it kind of starts getting serious because we got to play janitor first. Just imagine somebody walking by and seeing me just cleaning this up. It's like if I was on a multiplayer, oh God. If I was on a multiplayer server and they're just like, Seeing me place skulls on the ground, you know, pentacles and sacrificial bowls and all that good stuff. Just placing a cow randomly and they're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Body really don't want to help me at all. Body, you stay right here. Okay, just stay, just stay right here. All right, now we've completed our quest of getting all the different kinds of chalk. We're going to need to do something new. So we need something called an infused pickaxe. Inside of the nether, there's a specific kind of ore that makes you a certain kind of pickaxe that we're going to need to summon the best crusher demon to get that six times ore processing, whatever it's called. So we're going to need an infused pickaxe, which means we're going to need to do Strayor's higher binding. I guess that's how you say it. As you see, we need a spirit attuned pickaxe head, some sticks, some silver and this book right here. So let's start with the book, see if we can make it. And there we go, there's the book. And we'll combine this with our dictionary and then pull our dictionary out. Totally didn't sound bad. Two sticks, two silver ingots and a spear to tune pickaxe head. Easy enough. Spear to tune pickaxe head is just three of these attuned gems right here. Let's go ahead and take our book out and let's find that higher binding one. There it is right there. And with this, we can take an, oh, I d oh, I messed up. We can take and place this right on here. Oh, this is going to take almost everything. It looks like gold, purple, and then those crystals. And then, oh yeah, we got we got some we got some work to do here. Just summoning me some demon. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And ding, there we go. Fries are done. So this one's a little different because this one actually takes five. Five different bowls, which there's not really a good way to do five different bowls. So on one, we need this and then a piece of silver. And then just on another one, Preferably down here, we need this. Let's put our pickaxe head and then another piece of silver. Then we place our book in the middle and it's starting to bind the genie. Is that how you spell that? Say that? Into a pickaxe, but it Father Daniel the Honest is awoken. Father Daniel! Father Daniel, listen, okay? It's not what it looks like. I don't know where he's at, but listen, I'm just I'm just hanging out, okay? I'm just I'm totally not messing with some demons, Father Daniel. What are the chances Father Daniel is the one that shows up? Man, this guy's taking forever to take these pickaxe pieces. All right, well, let's take a couple years and see if we can finally go get us some. You know, buddy, we could probably have just made all the Monstar by now by the time these guys, you know, finally taking everything. You know, maybe they'll give me a pickaxe eventually. 
he's got the book to eat. This would probably be a good chance to talk about our spot. Oh God, there's a pickaxe in my hand. Oh, apparently we got a advancement in the corner. It messed up. The infused pickaxe. All right, buddy. I'm gonna go over the nether. You 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 keep our little place here uh, safe, all right? Don't don't let any random demons come through, okay? Don't let any random demons come through. <laughs> All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is RTP. Well, I do, but you wanna go find some place with netherrack, okay? And now if I shift right click it with a rod, it'll tell me that it's now attuned to Isnium, Isniamore. And if I hold right click, nothing happens. It looks like these demons things aren't actually gonna help us. So uh, looks like we're gonna need to make some other world goggles. Cause this gives us permanent third eye like we can see okay it gives us the permanent effect okay that's what it does so let's see if that's the thing that's causing me to not be able to find it start off we're gonna make us the limbs frame and then we need the infused lens oh man we got to do another ritual body anything happen while i was gone looks like nothing happened right body body all right to make these we're gonna need the spectral compulsion one let's see if we can find that ritual right here okay I'm gonna place it right here oh this one's easy enough it needs the lenses it's gonna need two silver ingots and one gold and we put the book in the middle and there we go all right give me the lenses give it to me there we go bam so now we can use this to make ourselves the other world goggles we could take off our helmet here and well which one has more luck i guess we're gonna have to replace this one we'll place we'll put this hat back on later but now see look at there we can see everything from the other world buddy i'm gonna go to the nether again i'll be back oh i see now what we were doing wrong there's a mod installed that makes this a little bit different so essentially what it does is if we hold right click it will send us an animation of where it's at so once it finishes here It'll send an animation in the direction. But the problem is, is I have all of my animations off. So let's see if that fixes it. So now if I hold right click, let's see if it sends it. Oh, yep. That's what it was. So if you just right click afterwards, it'll send you in that direction. So it's sending this down here and let's see if we'll find it. And there we go. Some Eisenium ore. Thing is, you want to make sure that you mine this with the pickaxe, the infused pickaxe. Otherwise, it will not give it to you. Pretty sure. But you see how now our rod is completely clear? That means that there's no more around here. It, it pointed us in a direction. The closer you are, the more the rod changes, according to the book anyway. If you're wondering why we need these ores, we need to make ourselves a block of this Eisdium. And that's part of this Marid Crusher, which is like the highest level, the very fast crusher. We're gonna need a whole block of this stuff if we're gonna be able to make it. So we've got one and we've got eight more to go. There's another. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these. So just a little tip, if you didn't have these goggles on and you were breaking netherrack over and over, it's going to break the ore too. You have to have these goggles on or it won't separate these and then your pickaxe will just mine it all. Also, this thing is weak, so don't try and break the netherrack with this because it'll just break your pickaxe. All right, we have enough. Now we can take these goggles off so I don't throw up. Put our Lucky Charms hat back on. Now you could ore double this if you want to, but I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and smelt it all down. And there is our block of Eisnium. And now we got to clean up again and get this ritual going. Now we got to make this book of the Marid or Marid. So we're going to need some orange dye, which we don't have anything that makes orange dye. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll we'll come back to that. I'll get that later. And we're gonna need a diamond block, emerald block, gas tier, and then that block. So this is just four. Cool. But we're also going to need the uh, something's incentivized attraction. Incentivized attraction. That seems weird. Fatmus. Fatmus incentivized attraction. Place it right there. Oh god. Oh god. This one goes all the way out. Oh my god. We gotta extend the platform, buddy. This is a huge ritual. I hope we have enough stuff for this because, man, looks like no purple chalk on this one. Oh, I had a feeling we didn't have everything. We're missing a skeleton skull. I need one more. All right, let's put these bowls down. One, two, three, four. And uh, let me go grab a skeleton skull real quick. So we're just going to have to make a skeleton spawner real quick because I got rid of my old one. So now we just swab us a skeleton. And let's go ahead and make this with some seeds. Let's go ahead and find us a chicken somewhere over here. I'm sure there's one over here. 
Oh, hello. Ah! Before we do anything else, we want to upgrade our mob masher. Wow, mob masher. We're going to want to upgrade our mob masher with beheading. So I'm going to slip in here and figure out which one I want to change. Which one should be fine. And we're going to have to give this an upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this one. And then let's see if we can get us a skull real quick. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got two frames per second right now. Man, that's not sucking anything up. That's probably why we're having problems. Oh, there we go. 13 skulls. Cool. And that is the easiest way to get skulls. All right. Last skull going down right here. Now I can get that stuff off the top of my screen. Oh, yeah. We need an orange die. Oh, look at there. With everything there, should be able to make this. We combine it with our book again, and let's get this set up. So we're going to need diamond, emerald, gas tier, block of Ismium. Ismium. Okay, Ismium block. Here. Gas tier, emerald, diamond. And for the final item, the book. Now we're summoning a better crusher. Body, you've been standing here so still, sir. This is about to be beautiful. All right, come on, eat it. I feel like this kind of, we're enslaving demons. I mean, they're demons, right? That's, that's not a bad thing, okay? Is, are, are we the bad guys? Maybe. Oh, hi there. Creo. This dude's cool looking as hell. Look at him, he's dope. Body? Body, it's not that bad. He's, <sighs> don't worry about Body. He's, he's a little bit of a wimp, okay? He's kind of scared of some demons right now, you know? Now, I'm going to clean this up a little bit because you don't have to have these. Once he's done and summoned everything, he's here, right? So he's just chilling. I don't think you can even hit him either. So this demon is actually the best, okay? He's the best, all right? And let me show you why he's the best, okay? So if I throw this piece of raw gold on him, right? He instantly just gave me six gold dust. Six off of one piece of of gold. You see how that's crazy? Now y'all remember that unobtainium that I had a while back ago. A little less than half a stack. A little less than half a stack. All right, sir. Go at it. Oh, this is beautiful. So beautiful. So that 26 pieces turned into two and a half stacks. Almost two and a half stacks. It went from 26 raw unobtainium to 156 unobtainium dust. Well, you might be thinking, how do we do this to where it's automated? That's probably going to be kind of annoying, isn't it? You've got to drop this stuff on this guy, and then he gives you the dust to pick up, right? Well, it's actually not that bad, especially if you use a mod that I particularly love. And that mod is modular routers. I'm not going to get into too much of the recipes and stuff, but I am going to go make and show you how to automate this guy, just so you can kind of get a gist of what you've got to do. We're going to need two modular routers. And thankfully, when you make the recipe, it makes you four. So there's our modular routers. And the way we're going to set this up is we're going to set one right here. Boop. And one right here. Boop. Cool. Then we're going to need something called a dropper module. And then we need a vacuum module. So if we wanted to automate this with our ores, what you want to do is you want to grab all raw any kind of ore here. So I'm going to put this unobtainium dust up. I'm going to grab all these different kinds of raw ores here. We'll leave the zinc for now because I don't really need zinc or aluminum for now. Once you have all of them, we probably want to make the dust out of each, of each and every single one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and let him make the dust of everything real quick. Now the guy does kind of move, so you, you probably want to fence him in. So you know, you can pick him up with a mob yoinker if you want to. This way we can make him a nice little barrier. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, he kind of can't get out of here anywhere. So we're just going to do that and we can place him down now. Now he shouldn't be able to get out, hopefully. Right. Once you have all of your dust in here, you want to make a vacuum module. Now, this vacuum module, you want to come in here and you can put all of these different dust in here as a filter right here. But the problem is, is, well, there's not enough stuff here. There's not enough slots for all the different dust and stuff. So instead, you can make a bulk item filter right here, which is very simple. And then from here, we can take this filter and we can stick it everything in here. So all of our different dusts. And then we open up our module again. And then we just stick this into our vacuum module into the top left. We want to make sure that we set this to whitelist so it only picks up what's in the bulk item filter. And then we can stick this in here. And just to test it, I can turn my magnet off and let's grab us some iron ore real quick and see if it picks it up. He picks it up and throws the dust. And now we just need to make sure we set the side here. Oh, it picked it up. We want to make sure it picks up from the left here. So if I just throw this in here, it'll automatically pick this up and go into its inventory. We'll have to put this in our system a little bit later, but for now this works. And now we need to configure this dropper module. 
So we right click and we make sure it's set to blacklist and we turn the dropper module to right. So the problem is, is this is actually going to, it's, it's not going to work properly because this is going to drop things really, really fast. So we can fix that. So let's test this with iron. So if we stick iron in here and we stick the dropper module in here, it's going to drop this one at a time faster than it takes for him to crush it. And then eventually what's going to end up happening is that he will have too many of his inventory and it won't pick it up and crush it. And if your vacuum module doesn't pick up like it needs to, you can also increase the range. So just stick some range upgrades in there, throw this in there, and now it should pick it up a little bit better. It's not as fast and we can make some speed upgrades too. So now picks it up a whole lot faster. Well, the problem is this guy's inventory is getting kind of full and that inventory is kind of full. So it's not working like we'd want to. So there's a couple ways to fix this. First thing is we're gonna have to take this iron from this guy or he's just gonna make it all. We wanna make sure we make a regulator augment. With our regulator augment, we're going to go into our dropper here and we're gonna make sure we only drop one at a time. Okay, and then we're going to place this in here. Then we're going to go to our modular routers and we want to set this up to redstone mode pulsed. So next up, we're going to go and make something called a timer. Very easy just to clock some redstone, redstone torches, nothing too crazy, very simple to make. Get rid of this chalk here real quick because we're going to need some room here to set up. With this timer, we're going to place this down facing towards this right here. But we got to figure out the speed at what this guy breaks. So if I take a piece of iron ore and I throw it at him, he takes it. It's about two seconds, roughly. So one second is 20 ticks. So what if we set this to about 60 ticks, which is about three seconds. And now let's see if we can get this guy. Yeah, it's about three. And now if we come over here and we put this in here, this should only drop something. This should only drop something once every three seconds. Does he keep up with it? He does. All right, or so about 60 ticks. We can adjust this any point in time if we want to make it a little faster. And let's try 50 ticks. That might be a little too fast for him. Let's stay on the safer side of things. Do 70 ticks. Yep, about 70 ticks looks like it's it. Probably a little bit slower, but that's okay. I'd rather be safe than sorry and have my items disappear. So now we just need a way to get our system to say, hey, let's push things in here and pull things from here. And that's easy enough. So now we're going to make something to attach to our network, which again is very simple. We just type in network and we can make this receiver. Again, it's going to take one netherite and a couple other pieces, which apparently we don't have everything. It's okay, easy enough to make. So we're going to need one receiver, one transmitter, one network card, and then let's go to our demon. Okay, so go ahead and make yourself an importer and an exporter. And honestly, if it were me, I would upgrade Oh, well, I'm going to upgrade yourself to the elite exporter or the higher versions. You're going to want a couple of these. All right. So what we want to do is we want to set this up to where we can receive our network stuff over here and then pick it all up. So I'm going to make this a little fancy here like this. And then I'm going to put the receiver up here. Then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some cable. I'm going to run this along the side here and I'm going to connect it to the bottom right here. And then right here, I'm going to put on the importer. Now this thing is kind of slow at the beginning, but it'll pull anything in here once we connect to the network. Essentially all this does is it pulls anything that's inside the buffer here into our network, which is what we want. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side, but we're going to do an exporter. This is where we want to take a piece of all of our raw stuff. Anything that we want automatically turned into dust, we want to do it here. Now it has to match the filter that you made already. So keep that in mind. So now, we can come in here and we can put all of these in here as a filter. And then that way we say, okay, we want this to only export these items over here. Now we just connect up with our cables. And now we have this cool looking demon altar place for this guy, right? That's cool, right? So to make this work, we're going to go over here. We're going to right click our receiver with our network card. We're going to head back over here to the house, place down our transmitter, and we're going to stick in our network card. Our demon should be getting some iron here, which he's taking, picking up, spitting out, and being put into the buffer over here. And it goes into our system. So if we come over here and we go iron dust, we can see it's starting to count up, which is awesome. Now you can make yourself an ultra version of the importer over here instead of making speed upgrades, and it'll work the same. As long as it picks up the dust, as long as this is keeping up with it, which it looks like it is, it works, but it's not gonna hurt me 
to go ahead and make myself a speed upgrade or two. What you can actually do is go ahead and make yourself four of these. With those four, you can make a stack upgrade. And then that way, it just pulls a stack at a time out of here and you won't have to worry about it. And now we have a demon that will automatically take and crush all of our ores. Except we only have one and this guy's kind of slow. But that's okay. He'll get through it eventually, right? Right, sir? But for now, that is going to be it for today's episode of All the Mods 8. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We are steadily growing. Like, it's incredible how fast we're growing. We're like, we're almost 3,000 subs. This channel's not even a year old, which is crazy. So we've got a couple more months, and I think it's like eight or nine months old, something like that. I'm not really good at math and counting, and I don't feel like it because I've just been dealing with this demon the whole time behind me, and he's just kind of steadily crunching, and that's going to get kind of really annoying kind of fast. Anyway, guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you and i believe next episode body we're going to uh do some power comparisons do y'all like bigger reactors well we got something special planned for you so until then thank y'all so much for watching and as always bye, bye.